Alright everyone, welcome back. We are in Boulder Fall. We are going to head out to deal with Hanets. Next set of quests in Still Snow. Let's go take a look, see. Actually, I think I went to Still Snow recently, so it's probably not going to initially initiate. Yes, I did. I did, in fact, go to Still Snow initially. So that means we need to go to the tavern to start up our chapter three. Yeah, boy. Oh. Oh, Cyrus, what's he have to say? What do you have to say here? Should you again have need of discerning, discerning minds, I would be happy to offer my talents. Yes, because I am the most intelligent. Oh, and Ophelia's here. What does Ophelia have to say? Can I rob her? That'd be kind of funny if you could rob your own travelers. Should you need guidance to support on your path, I am ever at your service. Okay, great. But we're not here for that. Oh yes, my team is Therian, Hennet, Tressa, and Alfin. Uh, my other two were already level 40 with, um, hmm. Who's the other one? Who was one in particular? One of them was sick, I was 41, so. Yes, that's bad. Here, a tale. And that's chapter three. Let's go with it. 38. We are at the average. One above it. The story so far. Following her master's trail, Annette made the long journey to Stonegard. There, she talked to Natalia, who had been friends with Santana, following Natalia's clues. Annette found her master in the forest, except he had been petrified by the beasts called Red Eye. Annette forgives thus, forgives this old man for not keeping his promise. The last words he wrote before he, the curse stilled his hands. In the same note, he told Annette to find a woman called Susanna. She is a seer, he wrote, and perhaps she can help. And thus does Annette arrive in the frozen village of Still Snow. Oh. Oh, by the spirits, the snow falleth deep here. Oh. Oh. Kitty cat noises. Hmm? What is it, Lind? It's not like thee to frolic in like as a kitten. But then thou art a snow leopard, art thou not? For thee arriving in this white wasteland is like a homecoming. Oh no, kitty cat to triple. Alrighty, I ain't never seen a snow leopard that big before. Does it bite? Does it? Cheerily. Fear not, young ones. Lind is with me. She's a gentle creature. She will doth thee no harm. Really? She's yours? Funny. Sort of petty, ain't she? <laughs> Lind is not a pet. She's my companion. My friend. <laughs> Friend, you say, just like us then. Yep. Hi. Yeah. Our fur is so soft Whoa. and warm too. So, tell me, children, does the woman by the name of Susanna live here? Hmm. The old lady. Oh yes. Well, the old could you mean? I we know her. Who doesn't? Now then. I see, and where might I find her? Oh. See the house on the Red Wolf over yonder? Uh, oh, that one. Okay. Mm. Right next to the church? Mm -hmm. That's the old witch's place. Slow pan. I see. Thank thee, children. Of course, say let's pull a witch for us. Bye bye. Bye bye, Lind. Oh. Enjoyest thou tension, did you? Didst thou? Oh. Ow. 
<laughs> Just come with me, then, before thy return with more friends. More friends, more friends. <laughs> Make for the house of the red roof. Okay. Oh, we are going there. Oh, going there. So, something going on. Hmm? What is this crowd? Hmm. Hmm. What is this crowd? Oh no. Listen up. I've journeyed many leagues to have my fortune told by Madame Sosa. Oi! I implore you, pray, open the door. Ain't a talk, or is he? A pox on him. God's teeth, man. Get out of my way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what the? You wretched horson. Poultures at once. Oi! Oi! Get no apology out, out. You don't talk none. Honestly. He's lost his tongue. No. Hey, it's just that Suzanne doesn't like does the talking for both of them. Yeah. Bleh. Oh, I have to challenge him. Oh who? Oh who? Who is that man? Doubtless. Susanna's mind looks after her and keeps the riffraff from bothering her. As you might have noted. Truth is. My name's Alec. She took him in the streets when he was a wee sprout. Aye. Aye, she saved his life, she did, and he's been with her ever since. The sound effects don't match with the faces, but you know, it's okay. What does that mean? All women aren't commonly in need of a bodyguard. Hmm. There, when folks from far away come flocking and vent out of their fortune told. Fame doesn't sit real well on her, considering how little she carries for company. Hmm? Truly, she thought I'll refuse every visitor. Every All visitor. Right. Little funny, ain't it? I'll see who can see the future clear as day, but don't tell no one what she knows. Alec turns them all the way, and no amount of begging or beseeching makes one spit a difference. Ah, oh, yes. Every now and then, the fool tries to get rough with Alec, but off as he ends up being... Off as not ends up with only the correct school for his trouble. Curses. Finding her was easy, but talking to her may have proven more difficult. So says Annette. Don't travel, matter. Hmm. So what's the plan? Something tells me a simple, pretty please isn't gonna work. Truth be told, I. Truth be told, I do not know. I wonder if the stubborn oaf has any weaknesses. Weaknesses? We all have them, after all. Even thou, Therion? Huh? Since when did are we talking about me? Ha! So thou dost. If you're gonna be like that, you can forget my help. <laughs> my apologies, we were discussing the bodyguard. Ours may be, I know my share of big burly types, who are spoke Look by beast. Beast? That was say. No promises. That's the one of the same, of course. With a try, wouldn't you say? This is curious advice, but I shall consider it. Oh, ho! It's, no, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so he's just gonna say, provoke me. Greetings. I have business with Susanna. But thou wilt say nothing, and thou wilt not listen either. Ugh. And I have no choice. Ugh, I have no choice. 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 Provoke. Yes, provoke the individual. Go forth, my friend. 
We shall defeat him. Make him pay. Let us begin. We are not here for ourselves, but for Xanatana. If thou darest. Oh, he is weak to Lin's fuzziness. Okay, the fact that Lin can use both a sword and a spear technique is kind of interesting. Because you think it's, it's, it's just a claw. It might be more akin to axes, usually. Or daggers. So it's kind of interesting that it's sword or spear. Oh. I made a bit of whoopsies there. Uh, I should use something with more power. Maybe... Hmm. How about an honorary howler? Not bad, 2,300. Missing. Lind, use swipe. Lind, use sweep again. I said swipe first time. Why would it be swipe instead of sweep? Why would they name it sweep? It makes almost no sense. It should obviously be sweep. Swipe. Swipe, not sweep. Let's just attack Lind. I don't want to use up all my usages of people. It's going to extend out the battle a bit, but. I darest. And I shall defeat us to use to assist us. We darest to attack. We darest to see it through. So it's kind of interesting how Lind or Hanette can only attack with Lind through these. I don't know why they made a decision to do that. Kind of, kind of odd though. It's like, what is the purpose in doing so? Does it? I mean, I know she can have all sorts of weakness types, which is probably why the main reason why the uh, challenges, or whatever, always feature what they do. Um, but like, why? Uh, why? Why? Uh, I don't know, why, why are these types? Why are these damage types for Linz? And why do they... Why can't you use your bow? It's like you're a hunter and you're only allowed to use your feral beast. Like, if this was any type of actual challenge... In real life, people would complain that you're using your pet, you know? Like, oh, you're just using your pet. Doesn't prove that you're able to defeat me, kind of thing. Instead, your pet does all the work. You could be a million times weaker. And then they'd be like, I don't surrender because you just used your pet. You didn't do it yourself. How much health does he have left anyways? Ugh. Let's use this one because he was kind of hard to get, but I'm higher level than before now, so that shouldn't be as hard. Also didn't do as much damage, but it's also an AoE-based skill, so... Whatever. Lind! Also, I couldn't find... Anything about Lind getting any stronger in terms of damage? Lind is always considered a three-star strength character um, thing. So they make it to where you have to use your... Um, they basically make it to where you have to use these characters or these ones you got from thing. Because eventually there's going to be a point to where Lind just doesn't do enough damage to do anything. Oh, then break, and that's what you're pretty much like at this point in time. I'm already mid game or in mid game right now. The only thing can do is break oh. stuff, basically. I mean, I was just doing it even at four star max attack, it still only does a little bit of damage, like 600. And that isn't even that, it wasn't even having that big of a bar. I mean, I don't know. Eep, eep, orca. <laughs> He's a man grown, but still a boy within. He sounds like an old crown. I like her. Be a dear, Hannet, and have Linda carry the poor fool within. <laughs> He'll be catching his death of cold lying out in the snow like a log. True. Was he not even going to ask? <laughs> How dost thou knowest my name? That's what you want to ask, isn't it? Well, I mean, Hanette should also realize this immediately. Uh, I guess it's not so obvious. 
Plus, there are a lot of skeptical things about, you know, foreseeing you can see into the future. Ooh. It's kind of hard to believe. Sir, remember? Possessed of the all-seeing eye. Or so they say. Then thou art an oracle. Truly, thou will be able to help. <laughs> Poppycock and nonsense is all it is. Oh. <laughs> Poppycock? A hunter from the woodlands who communes with the beasts. Not a common sight in these parts. The only one who might fit that description is that hobbledy hoy, Xanta. Yep. Hobbledy hoy. That's, that's a fun one. Him or his apprentice, Hanet of the Darkwood. Hobbledy hoy. Your age, your snow leopard, your garb. Simple deduction, my dear. Obviously. She's, she must be Sherlock Holmes. The trick is to say what you know, and nothing more, and let the gullible fill in the details. There's also note that she might have a very excellent um, information network. So, I mean, usually they can do the deduction from that. That's all Susanna's famous all-seeing eye is, in the end. Little this, little that. A little deductive reasoning, a little bit of common sense. Boom, there you go. Well, disappointed to learn I'm just a fraud? On the contrary, now I know I can trust thee. If thou speakest the truth about this, then surely thou wouldst not speak false of aught else. Fair before you, but that Zonta lad raised a clever apprentice, and that's the truth. Now, why don't you tell me why you're here? <coughs> but first, let's bring my side. But first, let's go inside, shall we? Aha, I'm a seer. See, exactly what she said. It seemeth that would be for the best. Oh, well, well. That young master of yours has managed to get himself into a right mess, hasn't he? Usually does. Mistress Susanna, canst thou help in it? There is one way. In truth. Truth? Ah, now that's a word. You said you trusted me, remember? It's... yeah, but you know she's just shocked. Come on. If there is the slightest chance of lifting that curse, I will trust whomever I need to. Milady? Gods take my eyes if that fool hasn't raised a strong and brave young woman. I'd scarce believe it if you weren't standing here in front of me. I learned from his example. The good and the bad. <laughs> That's the best way to learn, though. <laughs> Is that so? Can't imagine that would work. But the world is full of wonders at that. Isn't that so, my dear? <laughs> it is. But about the curse... I am prepared for any trial. There is but one way to turn stone back to living flesh. And that is to slay the beast that wrought the curse. Just like story of, and who is the guy who slayed the Gorgon? You know what I'm talking about, though, right? I had feared as much, but it shall be done. Stay, child. I'm not finished yet. Did Zanta forget to teach you patience? I'm still here, aren't I? <laughs> Mine apologies. 
If you try to fight the beast as you are, you'll only meet the same fate as your master. No, 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 I'm pretty close to being almost halfway leveled. And what good will you be to him then? But I must... What you must do first is find the means to protect yourself from Red Eye's lethal power. Oh, okay. Are you going to give me a shield? A, gorg a mirror shield? Tell me, dear, have you heard of a plant called Herb of Grace? Oh. Never. Long ago, there was a beast in these parts, too, what turned men to stone. Folks here soon learned that Herb of Grace could ward off the magic. I reckon it should be effective against Red Eye as well. Herb of Grace grows in a forest so thick there are few ways in. I'll send a layak ahead to show you the entrance to the trail. But know that the forest is a perilous place, and home to many frightful beasts. Yeah, but no beast as frightful as me, Annette. You want to prepare well before you venture in. Prepare we shall. I shall. Thank thee, my lady. <laughs> it is my pleasure, dear. In a strange way, that Zanta boy was like a son to me. A vexing wayward one, but a son all the same. With you being his apprentice, it rather makes you my grandchild now. And what kind of a grandmother would I be if I refused to lend you a helping hand? I like Master her. Master and I are both in thy debt. She's such a sweet lady. She's a keeper. Alright. Well, that was good. Next time we'll head to the forest and start along that path. But until then... See you guys in the next video. If you would please like, share, comment, subscribe, be most appreciative. Anything would help this this poor pauper fool. Alright, so take care. Later.